Hello, dear students. This is your Engineering Mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is examples on moments, quenches, and kurtosis. In last lecture, also in previous lecture, we discussed some examples on moments, quenches, and kurtosis. Uh, one more example on moments, quenches, and kurtosis. See the example. Calculate the first four moments about the mean of the given distribution. Also find beta one and beta two. Here the data is given. The data is in the form of frequency distribution. That observations with frequencies are given here. Now our aim is calculate the first four moments about the mean. to find the moments about the mean first we have to find out the moments about arbitrary mean means you first find the raw moments and then using the relation between moments about mean means central moments and raw moments you can calculate the first four moments about the mean so our first aim is you calculate the raw moments using the frequency distribution now how to find the raw moments using frequency distribution in previous lecture when we have started this third unit statistics there uh, discussed the about raw moments the general formula to find the raw moment is here see muir dash is equal to summation fi into d d raised to r upon n now this d is nothing but x minus a psi minus a. a is any value from the observation column and n is the summation of f summation of frequencies okay we are going to use this formula here to find the raw moments first four raw, raw moments from the given frequency distribution so this is your data is here now you construct the table first column variable column observation column second frequency column third you construct here the column d d is equal to x minus a a is any value from the variable column or observation column we try to uh, take the middle one value here suppose a is equal to 3 so your d is x minus 3 now you do the calculation d is equal to x minus 3 So this two minus three is minus one. Two point five minus three is minus zero point five. Three minus three is zero. Three point five minus three is zero point five. Four minus three is one. Four point five minus three is one point five. Five minus three is two. This is the third column D. Then the next column is F into D. F into D. This frequency column into D. Multiplication of these two columns. We do the calculation here. Four into minus one minus four and thirty six into minus zero point five minus eighteen and so on. Then F D square. F D square means F into D square. This is the column D. You take the square of D. You will get D square. D square into F. So this is the calculation here of F D square. F D square column. F D cube. You take the cube of D. Here, this is the d column. Take the cube of d and then multiply it by f, so that you will get f d cube here. Then f d raised to four, f into d raised to four means you take the fourth power of d into f, f into d raised to four. This is the calculation here. Then in last, you do the addition of all values. Means summation f is three one ten, summation f d is one seventy three. Summation of d square is two thirty five minus five thirty two thirty five point five. Of d cube is summation of d cube is two nine five point seventy five. Summation of d raised to four is four 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 triple four point three seven five. Summation means addition of all the values in the respective column. Okay. Now moments about any value a is equal to three. Our arbitrary mean means a is here three. Now moments about any value three are given as moments about any value means raw moments. Raw moments uh, formula for first uh, raw moment mu mu one dash. The formula is summation f d upon summation f. 
summation fd is here you can check the formula here summation fd is 173 you put 7, 173 upon summation f is 310 you do the calculation it is 0.5580 mu2 dash summation fd square upon summation f put here the value of summation fd square upon summation f you calculate simplify it the calculated value is 0.7597 then you find mu3 dash you put mu3 mu3 dash is summation fd cube into summation f put here the values from the table and you will get the value of mu3 dash similarly mu4 dash is summation fd raised to 4 into sorry summation fd raised to 4 upon summation f put here the values and the calculated value is 1.4335 okay so these are the first four raw moments about any value Three. Now, from these raw moments, you can find the central moment means moments about me. Now, moment about me that is central moments are given as you know the relation between central moments and raw moments. So, first central moment mu one is equal to zero. It is always zero. Mu two mu two is equal to mu two dash minus mu one dash whole square. Now, from these first four raw moments, you put here the values of mu two dash and mu one dash. And then you know, calculated value is here of mu two zero point double four eight three. Similarly, find mu three and mu four. Mu four. The formula is there. You put the values of raw moments there only. You simplify it, and then you will get the value of mu three and mu four. Mu three is zero point zero two nine eight, and mu four is two point four seven six two. Okay. Now, from uh, central moments, you can find the values of beta one and beta two. Beta one is coefficient of skewness. Its formula is mu three square upon mu two cube. You put here the value of mu three and mu two. Uh, these are the central moments, third and fourth central moments. Put here the values, simplify it, and beta one is zero point double zero double nine. It this value is very small. It is near to zero, so the curve is slightly positively skewed, or uh, Is near to general shape. Sorry, normal shape. It, that uh, curve shows symmetry, but slight uh, positive skewness is there because its value is zero point double zero double nine. Beta two is mu four upon mu two square. Put here the value of mu four and mu two. Simplify it, and the calculated value is twelve point thirty two seventy three two seven three. So this value is greater than three twelve point thirty two. And so the curve is leptocuretic. Sorry, the conclusion is the curve is leptocuretic. So this is the example of moment skewness and kurtosis. Last previous in previous lecture also we have discussed an example on moment skewness and kurtosis. In previous uh, example, I mean first example of moment skewness and kurtosis that raw moments were given. And we have calculated only the central moments and beta one, beta two. But here in this example. We have given the frequency distribution, and from frequency distribution, we have calculated raw moments first, and from raw moments, we have calculated central moments, moments about mean. And after finding the moments about mean, we have calculated the coefficient of skewness and kurtosis, that is beta one and beta two, and concluded about the skewness, skewness and kurtosis here. So this topic, moments, skewness, and kurtosis, is over here. Now the next topic is correlation. Now what is correlation? Correlation by variety distribution. In correlation, by, what is by variety distribution? The distribution for one variable x is known as univariate distribution, and the distribution which involves more than one variable is known as by variety distribution. By means two. There are two variables x. Suppose x and y. Then. If the distribution involves two variables, then that type of distribution is bivariate. Univariate means there is a single variable x. If a change in one variable x affects the change in another another variable y, then the variables are said to be correlated. There is a mutual relation between the two variables. Then they, we say they are correlated. Okay. Now to calculate the coefficient of correlation to measure the Correlation between two variables. There is one formula called Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation. Carl Pearson 
invented it so the name is karl pearson coefficient of correlation to measure the intensity or degree of linear re relationship degree of linear relationship between two variables karl pearson developed a formula called correlation coefficient correlation coefficient between two variables x and y is denoted by x y and it is defined as c the notation for coefficient of correlation is small r we denote it by the letter small r and it is the relation correlation between two variables x and y so in bracket write x comma y so this is the proper notation of coefficient of correlation r of x y is equal to covariance of x y upon sigma x into sigma y sigma x standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y now the formula for covariance of x y is equal to 1 upon n into summation x y minus x bar y bar 1 upon n n is number of observations summation x y means you construct the table and in that table one of the column will be x into y x multiplication y and that you do the addition of all the elements in that column that will be your summation x y minus x bar y bar x bar is the arithmetic mean of x and y bar is the arithmetic mean of y now sigma x and sigma y sigma x is the standard deviation for x and the formula is it is equal to under root summation x square upon n minus summation x square upon n minus x upon n whole square and standard deviation of y is equal to under root summation y square upon n minus summation y upon n whole square okay so these are the results to find the coefficient of correlation so uh, after putting the value of covariance standard deviation of x standard deviation of y we have this formula r coefficient of correlation means here in this formula r is equal to covariance of x y upon sigma x sigma y here you put all the values means covariance of x y sigma x sigma y and then you will get this formula okay now the example on coefficient of correlation the example is here compute the coefficient of correlation for the following data here the data is given the observations of x and y are given we have to find out the coefficient of correlation now construct the table the first column x second column y third column x square fourth y square and fifth one x y x into y you do the calculation x x square means the square of all the elements in x column y square means square of all the elements in y column x into y means the simple multiplication of x and y 10 into 18 14 into 12 and so on construct this table and after finding the all the values you do the addition of all means summation summation of x is 120 summation of y is 126 means addition of all the elements in column y summation x addition of all the elements in column x it is 120 summation x square addition of all the elements in column x square it is 2680 summation y square addition of all the elements in column y square summation xy addition of all the elements in column xy it is 2768 okay after finding the summation values you first find the arithmetic mean for x and then arithmetic mean for y the formula is here arithmetic mean for x here frequencies are not given only the observations are given observations of x variable observations of y variable means you assume here the frequency of every element is one so the uh, to find the arithmetic mean this formula is very simple you just do the addition of all the observations in x uh, column and just divide it by number of observations you will get arithmetic mean for x same for y So x bar is equal to summation x upon n is twenty because summation x is one twenty and the value of n is here six. So you divide it uh, by six. One twenty divided by six is twenty. So y bar is equal to summation y upon n. Summation y is one twenty six divided by six, and because n is equal to six, six entries are there. One, two, three, four. Five six twenty is equal to six, and so y bar is twenty one. Okay, so arithmetic mean for x is twenty. Arithmetic mean for y is twenty one. 
Now, coefficient of correlation is given by the formula to find the co coefficient of correlation is R x y is equal to covariance of x y upon sigma x sigma y. I discuss it here. The formula. This is the formula of coefficient of correlation. You write this formula and then put the values in this formula. Covariance of x y is one upon n into summation x y minus x bar y bar. Sigma x standard deviation is this square root. Sigma y standard deviation of y is this square root. Put all the values one by n. N is six. Six entries are there. Then summation x y is here. You see the table. What is summation x y? Summation x y is here. Summation of x y is two seven six eight. So you write here two seven six eight. Two seven six eight minus x bar y bar. X bar is twenty and y bar is twenty one. Arithmetic mean for x bar and y bar. Here, here is x bar is twenty, y bar is twenty. Put here that these values twenty and twenty one upon under root summation x square. Summation x square from the table. See here the table. Summation x square is three two seven six and summation y square two six eight zero. So from the table you write the values here. Summation x square is two six eight zero upon n is six six entries are there minus summation x upon n is nothing but the arithmetic mean. Means this is the value of x bar. Summation x upon n is nothing but x bar. It is twenty. So right here summation x upon n is equal to twenty twenty square. Another square root. Summation y square from the table it is three two seven six upon n n is six minus summation y upon n summation y upon n is twenty one twenty one square okay so put here all the values and then you just simplify and calculate the values and the calculated value after putting all the values you calculate the final value and it is equal to zero point five nine zero four so this is the coefficient of correlation between x and y here. In this example, you always remember that the coefficient of correlation, its value is always less than one. If your answer is more than one or greater than one, then it is wrong. You again uh, check or go through the solution and correct it. So, okay, you always remember that coefficient of correlation, its value is always less than one. So this is the example of coefficient of correlation. You remember that there are only five columns we have to construct while solving the problem of coefficient of correlation. First is x variable column, y variable column, then x square, y square, and then x into y. And you just use this formula to find the coefficient of correlation. Okay. So the topic coefficient of correlation is also covered here. Okay. In next lecture, we are going to discuss regression. Regression coefficient, regression lines. So this today's session is over here. Thank you.